हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1133 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द रोल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इन डिसीजन मेकिंग दिस पार्ट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बिकॉज व्हाट एवर डिसीजन इन आवर लाइफ वी आर मेकिंग आवर इंटेलिजेंस प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दो पॉइंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम रिमेनिंग पॉइंट्स of the previous lecture because what type of other intelligence are remaining up to fifth i discuss and sixth one i am going to discuss that is the skill of coordination of mind and your physical body and this skill is called mind and body intelligence and this mind and body intelligence is playing very important role especially for those who are in sports athletes cricketer footballer to coordinate and i have given the example of lot of multi million dollar payment of footballer and cricketer because their action of the mind and physical action very well they are coordinated they have the practice they have the skill and because of that they are champion like example of ronaldo ronaldo is billionaire in terms of us dollar he is one of the best footballer highest paid high order and prestige is because of his body and mind intelligence coordination so that is number 6 mind and body intelligence it is coordinating between mind and body and it helps to maintain uh, manipulate object like athletes surgeons and dancers dancers are also whatever uh, step they are showing that is the coordination of their body and mind surgeon who are doing surgery is is also very important mind and his a uh, seizure everything what he is using his hand it should be very clear precise precision of mind and his finger what he is using that is called mind and uh, body intelligence number 7 linguistic intelligence is also a type of skill language skill uh, that processing uh, is it is ability uh, of humans for complex uh, meanings like poets journalists so poets and journalists they write very sweet uh, lines in the form of poetry that is the intelligence that is language intelligence means they have the uh, powerful skill of poetry writing journalists they write column very very beautiful situation they explain and that is the beauty of language and it is because of their language intelligence in the form of skills and the number 8 is uh, that is intrapersonal intelligence intrapersonal intelligence is about the self awareness skill you have to be very uh, cautious self aware of so many things uh, it is the ability of man to understand others inner feelings is a type of i mean super intelligence self awareness because once you are meeting somebody you are talking we in that talking you have such type of skills intelligence to understand the person like psychologist when somebody is mentally disturbed people will advise to go to psychologist to go to uh, the person who is dealing with mental health and they are expert to understand your feeling inner feeling during talking and discussion and also uh, the spiritual and religious leaders our malams our chief our guru in india and nigeria everywhere they also understand your condition and if you are lacking any spiritual uh, energy in you they will pump they will motivate Uh, so that's why it is called intrapersonal intelligence self awareness to read inner feeling of other person is also very very 
कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्किल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस नंबर नाइन स्पेशल इंटेलिजेंस इज नॉट स्पेशल इट इज एस पी ए टी आई एल मीन्स इन स्पेस दैट इंटेलिजेंस एंड इट इज विजुअल इमेजनरी फोटोग्राफी जोग्राफिकल एंड दिस इज परसिविंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ थ्री डायमेंशन स्किल दैट इज ऑल्सो एन अदर इमेजनरी टाइप ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस एंड इन दिस केस वी कैन गिव द एग्जाम्पल इज दैट इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग द वर्ल्ड इन थ्री डायमेंशन हाई ब्रेथ डाउन लेफ्ट राइट ऑल थ्री डायमेंशन आर मेजर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फोटोग्राफी एंड ऑल्सो पायलट्स दे हैव थ्री डायमेंशनल कंसेप्ट ड्यूरिंग फ्लाइट वेन ही इज पायलटिंग द एरोप्लेन he should be very highly skilled in space intelligence and also painters who are, who are doing showing lot of background he should have three dimension uh, intelligence and skills and image photographers so now let me discuss decision making decision making requires lot of intelligence and intelligence plays very important role and decision making means final action you have many options and out of that options you have to you have choice you have option and out of dozen two dozen three dozen you have to select one or two so in that circumstances whatever it is for your personal for your suit for your shirt for your house whatever even for your subject so many subjects are displayed just like in restaurant so many foods are available but you have to select according to your liking in the same way if you are going to any university or any department it is just like restaurant many courses are there many specializations are there so there your intelligence is going to play a very important role how you are going to make your decision it's a very important step so here uh, decision making it is the process of final action for a need from an available choice after careful assessing the available uh, options you must have encountered many situations in your personal life where you have to pick one or two options from several choices everybody has this experience that for so many thing so many situation so many options are available but you have to choose you have to be selective and there your intelligence your understanding ability of understanding that is called intelligence i have told you in the previous lecture what is intelligence it is the ability of understanding of situation circumstances and surrounding that is called intelligence so how you are trained how you are skilled to make your decision and that is appropriate or that is not wrong that is correct so in that case i am just giving you two example if you go to buy your shirt is very common shirt suit pant trouser in any shop that's why salesmen who are attending in the cloth shops sometimes one man has gone to purchase or buy only one shirt or one trouser and he is asking for dozens to sell it so the salesman has to be very patient sometimes some of the salesmen who are not skilled how to handle the customers they will lose their temper i have seen it once you will see 4 5 6 they will say no i don't have any option 
and still lot of options are available they are irritated so that is also one condition and then you will leave the shop and you will go to other shop so here salesman also they have to demonstrate their skill intelligence of salesmanship that even if a customer is asking one dozen or 20 or 100 shops to select one he has to be patient so that is one example and that is uh, to or sweet you have to pick more from shop and you will sort list from dozens of the options number 2 when you are going to restaurants in the restaurants when we are it is my, my experience everybody is personal experience when we enter they will bring the menu booklet lot of options are given dozens fried chicken roasted chicken fish korma biryani jello fries so yeah so many things so now if we are sitting with two three of our friends we will pass on that uh, restaurant card menu what do you like and in that decision making with three four people sometimes everybody is confused what to do then in that case the one elderly person who is more experienced who has more understanding more ability in intelligence making decision he will be that okay let us let there be one plate of jello fries uh, all three will agree let there be one plate of uh, roasted chicken everybody will agree then salad like that and then sweet so that is also a type of skill decision making even in restaurant in hotels even which type of hotel we should take we have to understand the situation for example this time when i went for medical check up they gave me at least 5 6 uh, hotel restaurant where to stay so i have to look the surrounding that no that surrounding is not fit where that lo- uh, hotel is uh, or restaurant is located i want the that type of surrounding where these these things are available hospital is available taxi is available railway station is available according to that out of seven eight options i selected one which was to my convenience i took the action so that is very important decision making in life and once you are poor in ability of understanding the circumstances and condition you will be always making poor decision and you will be left poor in every respect once you are poor in decision making you will be poor in administration even in administration you will be making decision making will be poor and that part i will be discussing one by one so with this i will start here and in my next lecture i am going to continue in that decision making and there nowadays today in 21st century data base and information is playing very important role for any political decision making for any scientific decision making even for war decision making so that uh, decision making is very much influenced nowadays by another external skill that is called data storage and information and there are different type of informations all are not authentic there are lot of fake lot of duplicate so you have to purify you have to see which one is authentic which one is honest which one is fake so all these thing i will be discussing in the next lecture thank you very much for watching the lecture